Ah, let's do a quick online search. Give me some good news about the prices for hardware in 2024. Maybe like best predictions. Okay, top 10 investment technologies. That looks cool. DRAM prices are projected to rise. Ah, that's uh, excellent. Okay, uh, new hardware, more layoffs, AI development, SSD prices skyrocketing. Wait, why is all this negative news? I thought I searched for good news. Let's have a look at this. So strict restrictions imposed by US Chips Act. We're going to see less investment and... Oh, it's going to impact the TSMC. That's really not good for those uh, DRAM chips. So production cuts. Oh, that's looking nasty. That means prices are going to increase. Wait, NAND flash? What? This is affecting NAND flash as well. We're going to see a reduced amount of NAND flash flooding the market. That's terrible. That means RAM and SSDs and NVMe prices are going to skyrocket. Oh my goodness, this is happening. Oh, this is bad. This is really, really bad. Wait, that's going to affect everything. That's going to mean server RAM, mobile RAM, PC RAM, consumer graphics RAM. Everything's going to go up in price. Wait, this is bad. People need to know about this. Has this already started? Let's quickly jump onto DRAM Exchange. Have the prices already started to increase? Am I too slow? Okay, there's a couple of greens there. That's not looking too scary. 1%, that's okay. Okay, we've got SLC there, our SSD chip memory. And uh, there's a few increases there, so that's not looking good. But if we scroll down a little bit here, what else have we got listed? Okay, there's uh, GDDR5, so GPU memory, uh, VRAM, and that's looking like some increase, some decrease, so not too worried. The TLC chips are increasing, that's not looking good. M oh, those uh, MLC chips there increasing. We've got, oh, street price for SSDs, this one's useful. And, okay, that's not looking too scary. Got increases and decreases, pretty huge increases already, but not, not too scary. Lots of greens there, that's not good. Sodoms, ra laptop RAM, that's not good. Especially when I'm having to buy Sodoms for my little mini PC server that I'm trying to build. And, I mean, I'm going to need M.2 and SSD storage for it as well, so... How are we going to do that if prices are skyrocketing? This is really, really bad. But, I mean, is now the time? Do we buy one of these SSDs? Is that going to be the correct thing to do? Or am I better off waiting and seeing what happens? I mean, the prices are looking okay for now. So I guess if I buy them right now, I could probably still get an SSD for a half decent price. But if I wait too long, maybe the prices are going to skyrocket. Or at least that's the prediction. Wait, no, NAND flash, I'm too late. 5%, 8% increase. This is Bad. Our price is already skyrocketing. MRC. Oh, this is bad. That was in uh, last year already. How am I going to get this mini PC to become a powerful server if I can't afford to buy NVMEs? So, okay, I got you covered. Back in May last year, I made a data table of NVMe prices for PCIe 5.0, PCIe 4.0, and 3.0. And all of those were for one terabyte M.2 NVMEs. Now, this is going to become invaluable because if we repeat that right now, Let's quickly load up my lab zero. Uh, sorry, I'm still running MS-DOS, a little bit slow half the time, but hey, it's uh, cheap to run, right? Let's go with uh, boot from hard drive. Ooh, that's not normal code. But anyway, here's the data. Check this out, we'll quickly go through. I'll show you some really cool uh, findings. If right now we go back to May, this is the prices for those NVMEs, all from Amazon, all one terabyte. We've got three different categories of device and the prices are looking fairly reasonable, at least that's what we had back then. But that's not the interesting part. Here's the current pricing on Amazon for the same drives, still one terabyte. Now, wouldn't it be cool if we took those two data sets and we overlapped them? Surely that'll tell us just how scary these price increases really are. Okay, here it is. Now, overlapping them, we see a pattern emerge especially in the middle. Check that uh, huge price reduction in the middle. Wait, price reduction? I thought they said prices were going up. That does mean we maybe caught this early, but there are a few green bars there that have actually increased beyond the price from last year. Uh, some quite massively, like the M570. That's scary. But in terms of the categorization of this table, red, the first three, are the Gen 5 drives. The second column, denoted in an orange tone there, are the Gen 4 NVMEs, which... I'm sure you're probably using your system right now. They're the, the current gen, aren't they? And then in blue, the light blue color there, we've got our Gen 3 NVMEs, which, I mean, you might still be using in your system right now. They're good value generally and quite uh, abundant. But this data can be analyzed a little bit further. Shall we do that? I feel like if we normalize this data to the price from May in 2023, surely that'll tell us whether these drives have gone up or down right now, and it'll tell us which ones we need to buy if we were to buy storage right now, which ones to avoid? 
And there's the data. Normalized. Okay, but uh, that still doesn't really help. And I mean, I can see some of them are 40%, some of them are 180 just about. That's a horrible price increase on the M570. But we can take this another step if we analyze this a little bit further. Let's break it down. We'll find out which ones are good value in the present day. Red bars. Avoid. Do not buy these because right now their prices are actually higher now than what they were in May, which means they've been bitten by the uh, NAND flash bug or it could be a complicated plethora of reasons why they've gone up. But anyway, don't go for these. And I know you're surprised because that's the Samsung 970 Evo Plus. That's like my go-to NVMe. And I've seen this price hike on my local marketplace. So 120%. Whew, that's not good. That's really not good. That's my go-to drive. That's not good. Okay, so yellow bars. Glimmer of hope. These are probably on that uh, transitional state right now. Gen 5, first one there. We've got a slight reduction, which compared to the other Gen 5 drives, that Aorus Gen 5 or 10,000 might be the one to go for right now. Look at that. It's, uh, what's that? It's like 68% of the price that it was then. That's a pretty good deal. So we got a slight discount on that one. The Fire Cuda 530, also not looking too bad. And all those Gen 3 drives, I mean, they're all slightly down, but I mean, those are the ones that are going to go up first including the Samsung 980. That's another one of my go-to NVMe drives. The glimmer of hope lies within the middle of this graph. Check this out. The Sabrent Rocket 4 Plus, Patriot Viper, VP4300, the Corsair MP600 Pro XT, the Gigabyte Aorus Gen 4, the Silicon Power US70, the Western Digital Black, SN850, Samsung 980 Pro, Crucial B5 Plus, and even the ADATA XPG XS8200 Pro are all still really affordable. So if I was to buy an NVMe, that's where I put my money. Now they do look to be pretty affordable, but the question is, by the time I publish this data, is, is it still gonna be the same price? But I have a solution for it. Very, very straightforward solution. Because we still need storage, right? But thinking back, this has all happened before. And truth be told, I'm still recovering from the scars that were left by the uh, COVID crisis. Do you remember that? The GPU scalping? That was horrible, and I think I bought just when it started to reduce, but I mean, financially, I'm still struggling after that. So let's uh, take you down memory lane. Read it and weep, PC Magazine, there it is. GPU prices were insane, and it's not even that long ago. My memory's still fresh on this, 2021, man, that was horrible. But the reason why that happened was because of supply disruption, right? We saw scalper prices almost three times what the GPU was worth. Now. Is history repeating itself? Is this happening again with NAND flash and maybe even DRAM? Does that mean if we don't buy right now for the next few years, we may see prices skyrocket? Okay, let's log into Amazon. I need, I need to know this answer right now. Can we still afford these right now? Okay, let's check a couple here. So they were around 60 US. And looking at the pricing here at 60, okay, we still got a few 500 gigs, but we want the one terabytes. Where's the one terabytes? Got to scroll down a bit. Okay, it's 50, 60, 70. Okay, this, wait, these aren't the brands I was looking at in my table. What, what are these? These are the different brands. I haven't seen these before. Wait, where's the normal brands? Where's the 980 and the 970? And oh my goodness, uh, the price has already increased. Oh, this is bad. This is bad. Okay, I have one more solution. If you're too late and the prices have increased, there is one last solution. AliExpress. Now I know you've seen hundreds of videos on this saying, do not buy drives from AliExpress. They are either fakes or... They use uh, the wrong type of uh, chipset or the wrong type of flash storage, like horrible, horrible things. But there's a glimmer of hope because I took the risk so that you don't have to, to test one of these. And I can confirm at least one of them does work. Sorry, I don't have the income to test all of them, but uh, here it is. We have one drive that is effective and not just me. Other people have tested these as well and they've had good results. So this is the one that I bought. It's the Kingspec M.2, the NX series with this particular listing, which is kind of cool. They have good data there. I mean, usually we don't trust the data we get, but this one has a 4.8 star review. There are others as well. Don't, uh, don't just buy from this. There are others. But here they are. I took four of them. 256 gig because cheap. And I think I paid like 15 US each. Uh, might have been less, might have been more, I forget. But four of these drives, I took them and fit them into some modern adapters, something like this, the Asus Hyper or even the Gigabyte Aorus Gen 4 adapter, and I did some speed testing, and I actually got really good speeds out of this. Nearly the same as Samsung 980s, or the same as the uh, ADATA Legends. Now, these naturally have our M.2 interface. They do appear to have some nice NAND flash chips on them, uh, but I'm not going to strip them down for our viewing pleasure at the moment. But remember, you can take these drives. You can fit them into any adapter. This one's really cool, the U.2 to M.2 interface conversion. Take note, U.2 is a bit different from SSDs, but actually looks really similar. 
But those give crazy fast speeds. This is the fastest configuration I've had. This U.2 adapter with M.2 NVMEs and a U.2 to M.2 converter. And that gave me incredible speeds. So I mean, this could be a viable solution if you're looking for some quick storage, right? These cheap, so-called cheap NVMEs. But remember, those prices are going up. So even those will be affected because the chip prices are going up. So if we don't act now, we're going to be stuck with horrible prices for the next few years. Well, maybe, maybe. So I'm not trying to pressure you or anything, but I need to finish this video. I need to go buy some NVMe flash storage. Otherwise, I can't build my server. And if I can't build my server, I can't release my video. If I can't release my video, my subscribers won't be happy. So stay tuned. I'll get that video out as soon as I can. But for the time being, I need to quickly bypass all these uh, sanctions and horrible pricing coming our way. It's okay. I'll get the system done. You got my promise on that. But uh, good luck on your hunt and post up your finds maybe you find something really cheap post it up in the comments so other people can find it before the uh, prices increase good luck i'll see you out there and uh stay tuned